Hi, my name's Irene Turner, and I'm reading a short nonfiction piece uh, about my troubles getting work done on the train. Uh, it was in Gargoyle last year, and it's called uh, How Not to Get Work Done on Amtrak. You ride the trains to be incognito. You open your laptop and don't talk to strangers and disappear into your work. I recognize you, the conductor says in San Diego. Of course you recognize him. It's Saturday in summer and this train is popular and he reminds everyone to put away their stuff. You do as requested and move your backpack. The seat fills up with a man. Not bad looking for an Amtrak companion. Muscles and a faded bar t-shirt, a ruddy tan that drops out at his sleeves. Late 30s, maybe 40, which is at least in your ballpark. You wonder if his ass is white. Maybe you'll chat with him just until you hit Solana, then you'll be ready to type. With him proves to be a pipe dream. This guy only talks at you. He chatters faster than the train passes by the beach and the ocean and the surfers and the children who wave at the train. He used to sneak old trucks into Mexico for resale, he says. The trick is to bring your legal mo motorcycle, then they'll think you're smuggling it. He did it four or five times a year when he lived with his mother. Did he tell you that? Yes, he did. Oceanside appears with its crap subdivisions and salt air which makes houses fall down. You rip open the free snack pack with the bad cookie and trail mix. He takes business class free wine while you drink the soda. The conductor can't save you. Uh, there aren't any more seats. The guy, the kid five rows up starts a video game without headphones. At least your guy will distract you from that. He says his girlfriend doesn't like him browsing online tool catalogs. Can't you look at porn, she says? Maybe he'll take a hint if you plug in your Macintosh, set it on your lap. San Juan Capistrano arrives, which never has swallows. Irvine is boring, Fullerton dirty. There's some complicated story about Nebraska, his motorcycle in winter, but at this point you're watching the freights. The heat of the laptop fries your legs as it charges. You put it back on the tray. The train thins nicely when you get past Los Angeles, but the guy sitting next to you shows no signs of moving. You're trapped by your new best friend. He tells you these days he operates a crane for money. His boss finds junkers and scavenges parts, and your man crushes the rest into scrap. Used parts are worth much more than the sum of the truck. He knows the exact engine size of your old piece of shit Bronco, your current GMC Sierra, too. He says whenever he gets angry or stressed about something, he smashes a car and everything's okay. You should visit, he says. I'll let you operate it. Would you let me smash Hummers, I say? You're sorely tempted. You'd kill to do this. But will you have to fuck him to crush cars or rocks? Glendale and Burbank are the same, only different. Van Nuys always seem like a ridiculous name. And all this time, he's not looking for answers. All you have to do is nod and not work. You're funny, he says. You'd make a good girlfriend. I work too much, you say. Oxnard is so hot, it heats up the window. He finally asks you your name. Irene, you say. That's the name of my girlfriend. You don't believe it. But he can't be making this up to get you in bed. You contemplate whether you could have a one night stand with a man who's dating someone named Irene. He fish finishes the beer he bought from the cafe car. So what do you do, he asks. All you have to do is tell him your business and open the laptop. Throw yourself back into your own life. I'm not working, you say, and toy with the seat back. This is either a lie or the truth. Ventura, his stop. You shake his hand and don't get his number. He was seriously nuts, and you shouldn't want it. You never get numbers, even if sometimes you should. Carpinteria is where they crushed that teenager the last time. The train stopped for two hours while the cops and coroner investigated. You wish you could tell the guy that. You pack up your stuff seven minutes before hitting Santa Barbara. You'll head south in an hour and a half.